Question 2. Tem had some $2, $5, and $10 notes. The ratio of the number of $2 notes to the number of $5 notes to the number of $10 notes was 1 is to 2 is to 5. After spending all her $10 and 5 six of her $5 notes, she had $44 left. How many notes did she have at first? Usually, most of you will remember that I mentioned before, if the question asks you to look for at first, then the way to do it is to work backwards. In this case, is to draw your ratio table backwards. However, I too mentioned that in some cases, working backwards is less efficient. So this is one of the rare few cases whereby even though the question is asking you to find something at first, by right, you should be working your way backwards, but this question, it's easier to work forward. All right, hence let's set up the table. We have number of $2 notes to number of $5 notes to number of $10 notes. And we have before and after. Okay. So what is the ratio at the beginning? One unit, two unit, five units. So we have one unit, one unit, five, uh, two units over here, and five units. This is what we have at the beginning. Hence, after spending all her ten dollar notes, so all the ten dollar notes gone, so it becomes zero, nothing, and five six of her five dollar notes. So five out of six. It will be easier if the number of units we have corresponds to the denominator, isn't it? So can we change 2 is to 6? Yep, we times 3 times 3 times 3. Meaning we are getting the equivalent ratio. Hence, from 1 is to 2 is to 5, we get to change it into 3 units, 6 units, 15 units, alright? We times 3 times 3 times 3 such that we get a six units here which is a nice number all right so five out of six she spent five out of six which means she's left with one unit at the end after spending five out of six and did she touch all any of the two dollar notes nope so we're gonna bring it back down here so it's the same after that, at the end, she had $44 left. This is worth $44. Given that we know the ratio, for every three $2 notes, we have one $5 notes. Isn't that the ratio? Three is to one, which means for every three $2 notes, we have one $5 notes, which means we can group this into one set. One, okay, let me use another color. One set of three $2 notes and one, okay, $5 note is equal to $2 times three, right? We have three $2 notes plus a one five dollar note in total this, this will give us eleven dollars this is eleven dollars per group so how many groups of this will give you forty four dollars okay so next step it's number number of set all right which is forty four divided by eleven to give us 4. The only way this will give us $44 is to have 4 sets of this, which means right now we can have an actual number of notes. Alright, 4 of this, which means there is 4 times 3, 12 notes. Over here we have a 
four nodes. All right, four nodes. And given that we know that there's no change over here, it must also be 12 nodes. And what about here? After spending five out of six, we have, we have four nodes left. So six units will be Twenty-four nodes, isn't it? Okay. And what about here? Since if we times four over here, we also must times four to everything. So we will get sixty nodes. And we have solved everything, isn't it? Again, let's double check. Huh? Is this forty-four dollars? All right. 12 two dollar note that's 24 here that's 20 dollars 24 plus 20 44 dollars okay so we are on the right track hence the final step number of notes is equal to 12 plus 24 plus 60 to give you the answer of 96